My name is Lazarus Muriokindegwa and Christ is Lord and Savior of my heart. I am a father and I'm a husband. I work as an evangelist in PCA Waidaka Parish under Reverend Caroline Modoni Maina in Milimani South Presbytery. Before joining lay training, I would not prepare my sermon in an appropriate way. And I could not interject certain chapters with certain chapters. But through the training, when we undertook, where we underwent um, at lay training, I have been able to go through the scriptures word by word. And I'm able to interpret through the help of the Holy Spirit. And I can say, truly, lay training is the place to be. I personally proposed the project of pig farming, which I went through and I have undertaken it. But because of the times that we are in, I felt through uh, by and by and my family, we felt that we might be able to change the project to advance it to uh, spinach farming. The reason why we changed this project is because the pig farming has um, underwent through many challenges here and there. The prices of food and even the prices of the pigs themselves. Our project not only um, uh, has advanced into med uh, better, better ways of farming because we are not only doing the ground farming, but we are doing the farming, the upper farming, which holds many spinaches and also at the same time, it holds water and we are able to get the product that we desire at the end of the farming through the income that I'm getting and the profits that I'm getting. It has helped me to be able to reach out to the community, to be able to sustain my family in one way or the other. And it has also helped me to be able to learn of how I can also become an assistant to other people. It is my desire to say thank you to the Booth Foundation. And as the word says in the book of Exodus 3, 20, uh, that the Lord desires to stretch his hand to the Egyptians and struck them with his wonders. How I desire that the Lord God Almighty may stretch his hand unto you, the Booth Foundation, that he may bless you, he may expand you, he may give you good health, he may give you good and great um, powers to be able to reach to other people. And to Reverend Rorin, it is my desire that may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his presence dwell in your heart now as you continually bless the hearts of people and the hearts of many in the community as you have blessed me and my family. May the Lord dwell in you. May the Lord keep you safe. And even your health, may the Lord keep your health safe all the days of your life.